Right now at six, lightning strikes a Wisconsin radio host while he's on the air live. Bill Michaels survived that lightning strike. He has a blister on his finger and a hole on his shoe to prove it. The sportscaster recounts the bizarre details with our Corrine Zell. Bill just finished interviewing Jerry Kramer at a golf outing in Eau Claire when he heard a buzz and felt a jolt. Syndicated sports radio host Bill Michaels back on the air a day after he was struck by lightning. It burned my arms, it burned my fingers. We talked to Bill via FaceTime during his commercial break. But immediately I couldn't feel my arms like below my elbows and my, my legs and my feet. Bill drove himself to the hospital. The lightning struck his hand and foot. The, the bolt or the current blew out through the bottom of my shoe. He was undercover outside, broadcasting from a metal table. Bill remembers hearing thunder in the distance and minutes later, an electric buzz. And I had had my arms kind of up underneath the table on my knees and touching the table. Bill didn't see it, but someone else saw his table light up. The best way I can describe it is like somebody had an electrical wire laying across my lap and put the plug in, pull the plug out, put the plug in, pull the plug out. It was like two quick buzzes. Did they say you were actually struck by lightning? So they use that term, but basically there's what they call transference. And you can either be hit directly by a lightning bolt or the energy surrounding a lightning bolt. And that's what I was hit with. The ordeal makes him think differently. It doesn't matter if you're in the direct path or holding a golf club up in the air. You could be struck anywhere. And I was never a believer in that. And I am now. Surprised by the attention, including this tweet from the governor. Knew you had an electrifying show, but this is taking it to a whole new level. I guess I'm lucky it wasn't a direct hit, but nevertheless, it was... It's a pretty freaky experience, for lack of a better term. Bill says he still doesn't have all the feeling back in his arms and legs yet, but he's doing all right. In the newsroom, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. Wow, thanks, Corrine.